Welcome to Arson Girl Plays. Please subscribe and ring the bell. That way you won't miss out on my next video. Hey guys, welcome back to Arson Girl Plays. Today I'm back in Club Roblox and I am here with Skylar because we're going to talk to you all about babies. Yes, babies. Because now that we have babies in the game and now that we can become our babies and there's just so much baby stuff going on, I keep getting a ton of questions. And I thought, and Skylar thought, that we would help you answer all of the questions and things you want to know about having a baby in Club Roblox. So, to get started, let's talk about how we get a baby. First thing you have to do to get a baby is go to the Adoption Center. So let's start there. When you come to the Adoption Center to get a baby, just run right up the stairs, head over here to these little beds, pick your baby. It won't let me because I have Skylar because we can only have one baby at a time. But you pick your baby, choose if it's a girl, choose if it's a boy, and give it a name. You can also kind of give it some colors. Then you can come over here and you can buy accessories. So we've got some Robux prams. We've got some baby carriers. We've got a Moses basket and some other traditional carriers. And then of course, strollers. So you're gonna to wanna to pick up all of these accessories before you leave the adoption center. Next, you wanna make sure you also come down here to this table and pick up one of each of these three items, the baby food pouch, the baby food jar, and the baby bottle. You can find them in your backpack under food. These are gonna be very important because you're going to use them to feed and care for your baby, and you can only get them at the adoption center as of the time of this video. That might change in the future but for right now you can only get them at the adoption center so get them before you go home all right when you get home with your baby it's going to be a lot smaller than Skylar Skylar is a fully grown toddler so your baby is gonna need some tools for you to take care of it you're gonna to want to make sure you have a crib so that you can let them sleep because they're going to ask you to sleep and they need to do that in order to grow up big and strong they're also gonna want a bath so you're gonna need to make sure you put down a baby bathtub or a baby shower. All of those things can be found in the edit house menu under insert and then scroll down to baby. And so you'll really wanna pick a baby shower or a baby bath and at least a cot. Those are the three things that are gonna be the most important things for you to have next to the food that I made you buy previously. Once you have those things, you also have some options with your baby. So you can actually change the clothes your baby wears. By clicking on this, you have the ability to change not only the color, but the pattern of their outfit. So I am gonna set all of this back. I'm gonna give it a little color change, a little pattern change. Now you can also change her skin color if you wanna do something a little crazy. You could do green, you know, you could have a red baby. Whatever you wanna do, just do it. You have no limits on what color you make your baby. Hit save. And now Skylar has all new clothes and she's looking ready to face her day. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Skylar down by clicking on the hand and just choosing set down. So with last week's update, we got the ability to teach our baby. So all you have to do is click on your baby, hit teach, and just like with our pets, you can choose any of these options to train them. They're all free. You can rush them with Robux if you want, but the most important one, in my opinion, is clicking on become baby, because once you train that, I believe it takes about 20 minutes. Once you train your baby to become your baby, you can then click on your baby, hit play. Everything you just taught them to do, you can do here. Here, click become baby and now you and your baby are basically twins isn't that the cutest thing look at them they're so cute so then you can run around and just be your baby control your baby which is great for role play uh, or if you just want to pretend you have twins this is this is my favorite thing to do is just sit here and mimic whatever Skylar's doing I think they're adorable and I just love them but if I don't want to be my baby anymore I just come down here to this left hand corner of my screen hit remove temporary outfit and I'm back to being my old self. All right, so Skylar is now asking me to take care of her needs. She's telling
telling me she is tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick her up and I'm gonna take her to bed and we'll take care of her needs. Now, you need to do a about, I want to say probably 70 tasks like this with your baby in order to fully age them up from newborn to full grown toddler. Okay, she wants a shower now. I'm going to pick her up and take her to the bathtub. Come on, Skylar. Let's go get you a bath. All right. So anyway, as I was saying, you need to do, I'm guesstimating about 70 interactions, if not a little more, to get them fully grown up to where they can stand and hang out around you uh, on their own. So as they go through different life stages, I do have a whole video on the life stages of the toddler up to when they max out before they stand. So it takes a few more interactions after that to get them to be able to stand and uh, do this. But other than that, it's pretty easy process. Just take care of their needs. That's all you have to do. One other question I get a lot is, I don't want my baby with me. Can I put it in my backpack? And I'm like, not yet. I'm hoping that comes in a future update. But for right now, there is an easy way to not have to have your baby with you as you move around Club Roblox, all you have to do is leave it in your house. So I often will just set Skylar here on the couch and then I leave and go about my day. So you can see I'm out and about in the village and there is no Skylar with me. If I go back in my house, she's just waiting for me on the couch where I left her. And that is the same if I teleport anywhere. So watch, I'll go into town and Skylar is still not with me. So I am free to go and do my own thing. I just pretend and she's with a babysitter. It's okay that she's left alone. I promise she won't hurt herself. I promise. Purely safe. Babysitter comes as soon as you leave and leaves as soon as you get back. I promise. I promise. And now that leads me to this. I get asked a lot of times, how do I... <laughs> This one kills me. How do I reset my baby? Maybe they want to have an infant again. Or also they ask, how do I get rid of this thing? I don't want a baby. I don't need a baby. And I just want to say goodbye, baby. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a very off chance that you either want to start over with a new infant or you just want to get rid of your baby altogether. So the first thing we have to do is go back to the adoption center. So I'm back at the adoption center. I've got Skylar in my arms. Now I'm not going to give up Skylar because she and I are super close and I love her. But if you want to give your baby up or start over, you just head right over here and talk to this girl. And she will ask you, do you want to return your baby to the adoption center? If you say return, there's no going back. Your baby is back in the adoption center. Another family is going to take care of it for you and you will never be able to get that same baby back. So think very long and very hard before you give up your baby because you can't turn back the clock. But in the off chance that you do give up your baby, you just give it back to her. She'll find a new home for your baby. And if you want another one, you just come up here and start over where we started the beginning of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it answered a lot of your questions about babies. Feel free to leave any other questions in the comment section and I will make sure to try to answer them for you. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. And of course, if you're new to my channel and you haven't already smashed that subscribe button, please do so. I would hate for you to miss out on any of the fun Club Roblox videos I have coming down the line. And there's lots more coming, I promise. Anyway, you guys, I will see you next time. Until then, bye.